Okay, the wind is quiet for a second. It's super windy here, so I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this one before the big gust of wind comes and blows me away to another far, far, far away land. Guys, if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I'm gonna go over this custom e-bike build that I did. Let's get into it. If you have any questions or you wanna buy e-bike stuff like this, go to johnnynerdout.com. I do consultations, I sell all these parts, so let's get into it. This is the giant Yukon. Nice bike, dude. Um, it's like mid-level, entry to mid-level by giant standards. So it means it's much better than something you're gonna find on Amazon or Walmart, something similar like that. So you could buy something used like this, like in the four or $500 range, maybe a little bit more, $600 range. It's gonna be way better than buying something brand new that has way worse components on it. So this is a, a full suspension. It's got Suntour front shocks. It's got the giant rear um, shock. It's got SRAM X4 components. Nothing super high end, but nothing, nothing bad by any means. These brakes worked awesome. They easily locked up and these things are, they grab, they grab hard. Okay, yeah, let's go over uh, what we did to it and see if you have a bike like this. Maybe you wanna do the exact same thing. Got the 750 watt Bafang BBS 02 motor, 750 watts, which means it's street legal, but just barely. It's the most you can do that's street legal in most of America. And if you're in Europe, you pretty much have like a mouse power is all you can use. But here you could get one horsepower. God bless America. Let's go up front here. We added a little bell here. Ding, ding, watch out. Watch out, boys. I'm coming through. Uh, we've got the Raveman LR500. This is a 500 lumen light. It's also got the rear light as well. These are USB rechargeable. So they have an internal battery on them, super bright. Um, you could also take them off, use them like a flashlight. So it's kind of nice having an external battery, not an integrated one, because if you take these camping or whatever, or something, you could just take these things off and you have a super bright flashlight that's handheld then. Up here we went with the 500C color display. Next to it's the thumb throttle. Got a miracle mirror, so you can see what's going on, be safe. Battery's a 52 volt, 14 amp hour. I really like this one, it's a slim shark style. So this will fit in most bikes, especially a full suspension bike. You could see if we went with the Super Shark that stuck up a little bit more, might have been able to handle it, might not have. This is a large frame. If this was a medium, then absolutely not. A Super Shark would not have fit. You would have been stuck with this and maybe this. You can see the rear shock. We had to move the battery up so it didn't hit there, and it does not hit there. I think it's a 44 tooth chain ring up front. I want to say it's like a 32 in the back, so should be pretty good hill climbing. Um, it's an 11 tooth high gear, so top speed. You know, why talk about it? Let's just go show. Let's go do a performance test where we do hill climbing and top speed using only the throttle. So you see hill climbing, no problem whatsoever. If you want to get better hill climbing, put a lower chain ring up here or switch out your cassette and put a bigger lower climbing gear and all of a sudden this thing will be a, a wheelie machine. Or switch this out to a taller, bigger gear and this thing will have a higher top speed. You'll be pedaling along at like 40 miles an hour if you put a 52 tooth up there. Yeah, this was a pretty easy install. Usually, you know, full suspensions can go either way, but this one was a pretty nice, easy install. Oh, we also upgraded the seat because this is the uh, Planet Bike spring saddle. I also have a super wide one for the bigger riders if you want like a really big like couch cushion one, but this one's just a nice comfortable one. It's not enormous. Oh yeah, gear shift sensor. Where did we sneak that in? Gear shift sn sensor snuck in right there. It just cuts power while you're shifting gears. Makes your bike last a lot longer. If you want a link to any of the parts on this build, check out the description. And I think that's all I care to talk about on this one. This is an excellent bike build. If you have a bike like this, strongly recommend converting it. This total build was about 1,025, including everything was about $1,100. Including the lights, mirrors, bells, this, about $1,100 for parts. So if you're doing this yourself, that's pretty good for a 700 watt, our battery that's good for 20 to 45 mile range depending on how you're pedaling maybe even 50 if you're going slow and you're pedaling so can't beat it for the price you can't beat it all right later guys